In a previous video where I covered the basics of FPS attachments, a frequent comment I received on YouTube, Reddit, etc was that it would be a really good idea to show the scopes in game to give people an idea of how they look and feel. Well, never let it be said that I don't listen to my viewers. In this video, I intend to do just that. Now, full disclaimer, whilst I think I've gathered every scope in the game in the many hours I spent gathering, yes, this was a pain in the ass to set up, it is of course possible that I've missed one that I'm simply not aware of. If I did, please do let me know. Now, with that all said, on with the video. Quantum travel initiated. Welcome to my super secret testing range, which is totally not just a random crater on Walla. Starting out with the size 1, we'll begin with the Delta 1. Able to be purchased from every weapon shop in game, a simple red dot sight, nothing fancy. Next up we have its competitor, the RF1, which is loot only. Again, it's a simple red dot. Next we have the Gamma 1, which is a holographic sight, buyable in every store. The only difference between this and the Delta is... Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> the only difference between this and the Delta is the reticle shape. The Gamma 2 Duo, buyable in every store. This features an artificial zoom, but nothing else beyond that. Finally, we have the Gamma Plus, which is loot only. There's no difference between this and the Gamma Duo or the Gamma, it's just more zoom. Now then, I'll grab another weapon, and it's onto the size 2s. With the size 2s, none of these can be purchased in game, they're loot only, and they are all scopes. Starting out with the OT 4 RF, which can be found most often attached to the S71. Looking down the sight, we can see it features a rangefinder up to 500 meters and will zero with a single key press. Next up is the Tau Plus, which I've only ever found as a standalone loot, never attached to a weapon. This is much more basic, lacking a rangefinder and requiring you to manually set the zeroing. Finally, we have the Bearing S2X4. It doesn't have a proper name, so I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to be in the game or not. This is just an alternative to the OT4. It offers a rangefinder as well as auto zeroing, commonly found attached to Ninetales P4ARs. Finally, onto the size 3s. Onto the size 3s, we begin with the OT8 RF from Gemini, which is the default scope on the AO3. 1000 meter rangefinder with auto zeroing. Next up is the Touchstone, which is the default scope on the Arrowhead. One of the clearest size 3 scopes thanks to its really wide field of view. It features the same 1000 meter rangefinder with the auto zeroing of the OT8. Next is the Black Prism, which is the default scope of the Scalpel. This is a much more basic scope, lacking a rangefinder as well as auto zeroing. Last in the ATEX zoom category, we have the Theta Pro. As with the Black Prism, it lacks a rangefinder and auto zeroing, but it does have an excellent field of view. Now onto the 16x scopes, we start with the Omaraf, which is the default scope of the Atscav, though I actually found this a standalone loot. It's a classical sniper scope design, but it does lack a rangefinder and requires manual zeroing. And finally, the EE16. Rangefinder and auto zeroing up to 2000 meters, this is the best scope for long distance kills in my opinion. Found by default on the P6LR. And that's all of the scopes. I'm going to get out of this hellhole called Waller, and whilst I do, leave any thoughts below. Thanks for watching, I'll catch y'all next time.